Welcome back! In this tutorial we will talk about VS Code. VS Code. VS Code is becoming the most popular code editor and I've been using it. I'm happy uh, uh, about it and I'm using it every day. It is really great. You can also try it out. Maybe if you are using Atom or Bracket or Sublime, this is more powerful than Bracket or Atom or most of the uh, code editors. So it's for free, you can try it out. And today I will use VS Code. So this is my VS Code and uh, let me also open this, uh, minimize I think. Uh, so, uh, okay then, uh, I can create a folder on the desktop. I can call it JavaScript loops. Yeah, so let's create a file and I call it index.html. It's the leading file. It's mostly common to use such kind of file index yes i think let me make it like this then let's generate some boilerplate html5 maybe if you didn't see if i'm a bit fast well if this is html5 you can generate html5 then you will get this boilerplate for free uh javascript loops you can write javascript inside the head or the body but it's preferred to put it inside the body so i will use script and then let's start console.log and uh, javascript loops tutorial and i am using this extension live live server and you should install it uh, to to run your code and now let me just open live server and then this is what i see Control shift i to open the console i think i have lots of things here i can remove it by just uh, selected only that now as you can see JavaScript loops tutorial is coming from index.html at uh, line 11. Let's check line 11. Yes, it's coming from that. So now we managed to configure our HTML and the VS code. It's running. So now we are ready to write JavaScript code. So we can write it here inside the HTML or actually we can also write it outside for instance i call it uh setting uh okay setting up setting up .js because now we are setting up i call it setting up script and then we have to use source to locate the file which file setting up .js and then instead we take this there we are not going to have this and then i put it here and then i will get the same value javascript loops tutorial so from now on we put our codes outside the uh, index.html that means we use external script i think for this for this uh, video this part is enough and in the next video i will talk about for loop see you soon